All right, hey, what's up, my Crypt Troop? It's Coops, and welcome back to more Plants for Zombies 2. It's about time. Moving on to day 11 of Jurassic Marsh. After day 9 and 10 last time, we're off to 11 and 12. So we last time we found out that the zombies are obnoxious, but not so bad as the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are just so, so stupid. Flinging people here, throwing them there. I wish they didn't exist. Now, I actually have a lot of sunflower boosted plants, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of these. Or maybe just one. I want to kind of spread them out a little bit, make it easy. We can use them on different levels, you know, and then kind of cheat cheat our way up. With the sun one up, too, we're actually in a really good spot. Do you guys want to see more of that rotabaga? You guys want to see more rotabaga? That was a lot of fun last time. I think I might just... We also have this, this one, Primal Peace Shooter, but I want to save that for later. I was thinking Rotobega, Primal Walnut, Perfume, I don't know, and then just, just mess around. Just mess around with the rest of it. I have always like tall nut everything off, just build a bunch of walls. Big, I don't want to use this wall though, we want to save it for later. Oh yeah, and a random Citron. Yeah, that, that looks like what I want to build. Yeah, perfect. Rotobega. Rotobagus for the win. Don't give me that. Oh, why did I build this so far forward? That's fine. It's whatever. We're going to have so much sun so quickly. It's going to be so nice. I am excited. I'm going to build citrons all in the back. Up here is just going to be these things. Oh, gosh. They're all over already, man. So I'm just building these kind of in random spots here, just to kind of hope they fire at them. I don't really want to put these uh, walnuts yet. I haven't actually decided that. Here, let's just put them over there. Yeah, that's these seem like good spots for these kind of things. Here, and that can go back there. <laughs> Wait, I probably should have put one over there. All right, there we go. All right, it's already set up perfectly. Ooh. Let's convert these guys to our side. I want to save up more sun for more citrons. Okay, here's this guy swooping in. Okay, you know, I don't like that, man. I don't like what you did to me there. But see, look at these rotabagas saving my ass from behind. Okay, this thing's still charging up. Oh god, they're breaking through the walls! Someone stop him! Here, let's just put that quickie. Quick guy there. Mm, I hear, I hear stuff. <laughs> that thing just like totally missed all of its shots. That's cool. No, here, let's use this. Make him fall in love. That one's safe. Oh no, no, he's gonna die! Don't let him die! Oh, my Citron. Guess we need more Rotobagas. It's actually worth just planting them. And Citrons suck, don't they? This guy's eating through all my defenses. Here you go, man. Here, you wanna eat some of that? Eat some of that. Keep yourself busy. Damn, there's so many dudes back here. We, we've got we our defenses are are hit or miss I should say but oh gosh here come here come them all build up our defenses Rotopega is OP yeah Rotopega is ROP God would you stop doing that here this is that guy just instant eat my thing yeah, that's like a little uncool man these things actually while they produce lots of sun are still pretty useless. Citrons is like sh shooting the back here doing no damage. Yes, yeah, Citrons, I believe in you. Okay, it looks like there's just one guy left. I kind of want to build a Citron to kill him. Kill him. Fire, you stupid Citron. These things are so bad. Citrons suck. Yeah, they're so bad. So bad. Gotta go, Coops. I'll see you next time. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. 
Rotobagas are OP? Really? I don't know if they're OP, but they definitely work decently well. Citrons seem pretty bad. Only like in endless modes? I don't know, it seems kind of bad. I don't think it's worth having expensive plants in the back here. Just due to the fact that the zombies get dropped off back there. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream guys. Welcome, welcome. Don't lose more than six plants, not like this! Oh gosh, it's a gargantuar too. How do I not lose more than six plants? This could be a miserable experience. Wait, how, how do I how do I honestly go about this? I'm not sure how to win this. <laughs> Rotobigs are like six pea shooters, kind of, kind of. Man, how do I? Ugh. Ugh. I could build primal pea shooters, but they can be dropped off behind them. Use magnifying grass and sun. Will I have enough sun to do that strategy though? Split peas seem like they could be pretty strong, but they're pretty weak up front, right? So I can't lose more than six plants, but I still need to develop a lot of sun. All right, so let's build a... Uh, let's start off with the sun shroom, I guess. Sun shroom, split pea. Use the tile shrooms? Hell no! We can go for magnifying grass, but that's going to be pretty slow to, at the front. I need some way to kill them all. All the guys running at me. Unfortunately, the Red Stinger will not be good anymore because we have to move him forward. So he needs to be in the far back, and now he can't be. Primal Walnuts die kind of quickly, actually. I mean, I guess I take a couple hits from the Gargantua or something like that. Walnut. I could build the Infinite. Would that actually help out here? I'll do that. These count as losing a plant? They probably do, don't they? Something stupid like that. Definitely not the spore shroom. Use Merlin as a meat shield? Sounds like a decent idea. But there might be some issues with that. Alright, so we want... Don't use magnifying grass? Alright. All we need is primal pea shooters and split peas and we're strong. We're set. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. We have a primal pea shooter and the split pea going backwards. We're looking strong. I don't want to use that. I don't want to use two of them. I think I think we're set up pretty strong that way. Just gotta defend them a little bit, so I'll throw on some tall nuts. And these guys, and we should be good. Alright, I guess I can grab something else too. These things don't get destroyed, right? Spike rocks? I think those are okay. Alright, let's rock! Alright, so what I'm gonna do is kinda build these things. Ugh, I guess there? I'd like to put the split piece behind them. If I can. You know, if I can if it's possible. Kinda like right there kind of thing. But I don't know if that's enough damage initially. Spikes, yeah. Spike rocks behind. I kind of want to don't plant that yet, but I, I kind of need to, too, huh? I lose the plant food power up on that. That's why I didn't really want to do it right away. This is the land that can come backwards, so I got to kind of defend that one. Oh, gosh, all the other lands are getting screwed now. Uh-oh. Already off to a not-so-great start. No, that's cool. Is that so cool? Oh, God. Oh, God. I was too slow. <laughs> All right. Well, I was too slow in my setup, apparently. How the hell am I going to feed these guys up here? Man, we're just like so slow at setting this up. Oh my gosh, I think we've already lost. Split P is the weak link. Yeah, something's the weak the weak link here. That's like not working out for us. Is it the split P? Like, is that just too slow? Of damage dealer? 
26 all over again. I know, right? Already back to this hell. Alright, what I can do way in the back here is I can just use the fume shroom. For this basic guy, I can also just plant the bong choy instead and get that set up. Save my fume shroom power up for later. But he's actually technically cheaper, so... Maybe it makes more sense just to plant him down. It pushes them back, so I can actually let them get a little bit closer. I need 50 more sun for that guy. I should be able to get it from one of the sunflowers in a second. That guy's in that lane, so what I'm going to do here is... There's no zombies in that lane. But I'm going to hold off on using that in just a second. Okay, that guy died. I do need to use that up there in a second. Okay, I need to protect my, my plant. Ideally, I just keep pushing them back actually a little bit here and there. This guy I'm using a different strategy so if I can kill him in time. Did not. Damn, down here's a problem. I don't know how to like deal with this well. I just feel like I'm not doing something totally right here at all. No, he went past my walnut! Damn, I'm even cheating using plant food and it still feels like there's no possible way to do this right. this about paying for it yeah i'd like to do the same man i'd like to do the same and durian it's just gonna i mean it could actually be useful i suppose because it does damage and everything might not be a bad plant to pick up i'll use cherry bomb as emergency plant yeah that's always a pretty strong one too now what do i do to kill this guy just use that same strategy i used last time this guy in the far back as butt defense it's been a waste of 50 cent at the start, though. It's the only downside to that that plan. I want to start getting my Rotobegas out, but this also keeps this guy going really slow. Maybe I should have planted that Sunfire in the, that second row. Let that row also go the same way I had last time. If I dig it up now, it counts as a removal of a plant, though, unfortunately. All right, we're going to try doing this strategy right here. But I still think it's going to work in time. Just because these are good at defending multiple lanes is my, my thought process on this guy. But we'll... S oh, gosh. I don't know if they're working or not. I think the bug guy is just going to be too much. But we'll see. The fight goes on. I need more sun. I could help it, but... Yeah, I haven't unlocked all the plants that guys remember, so... Okay, what else can I do here for... I'm gonna use that one to count against it.
Okay, so far, okay. You probably need another thing to defend that one. Oh gosh. No, come on, alright. Use that one to defend that self a little bit. Didn't super help. Oh, screw you, man. Oh gosh, that's the one I should have. I should have used. Shouldn't I? I should have used some much earlier on. I think that lane's over now. That dude won't even pop up, will he? Ah! It was looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I messed up on using that thing against some of the zombies. Against some of the dinos. But that was like the right idea. Use it against some of the dinos, it should be okay. The gargantuar is there, I needed to save my items for. That one plant. I need to save that one for him. The, for the dinos, I mean. To convert the dinos to my side. I did not do it though, so that was my mistake. I was thinking of using this guy to injure him a little bit for now and then using this guy to finish him off if that makes sense so now just keep planting like these things to defend it I was kind of thinking about having the main like two and four or the like two three four lanes be rotobagas and then have the one and five lane the other stuff This thing I'm gonna defend like that with that guy. I feel that's pretty weak, isn't it? I don't know, guys. I don't know yet. Oh, fuck that dude, man! That's not gonna kill in time, is it? I mean, I can hope, but... That guy I need to convert. That guy's too powerful. The guy that kicks him forward, he needs to be converted. He needs to be converted. That was a bad reset. No, I don't think it was. I felt like I need to convert that one guy at the start. He did too much damage. I need to use a perfume shroom on that raptor. That raptor really wrecked me there. Didn't appreciate his damage. I know Primal Pea Shooter knocks back. I mean, it's it's worth it at the early game, though. It's very difficult to try and get all five lanes stocked with one of them. Let alone because they knock back. They're actually not that great. I mean, knock back is good, but that actually means they don't kill off the first zombie. They keep knocking it back, and a new one replaces it. So you actually end up with a buildup. At least that would be my like my thought process on that guy. This guy, how to defeat him well. Just start knocking him back with that, I guess. Probably should have planted that behind the primal, because now this group of like a bunch of zombies is gonna come right here. How to defeat them, let's see here. Knock back that group with that guy. He can kill them. Damn it. Well, that's fine. It's still fine. Oh, 
Oh, no, that guy is... I want to... I want to convert this guy to my side. He's a complete ruiner of strategies otherwise. I'm going to plant that there instead. Help knock back. Do the primal piece there. In case that guy picks anyone up, I'm going to plant one early. I'm going to keep doing probably primal pea shooters. For the knockback. Fume shrooms could do some good damage throughout them, though, too. I'm not sure which one's better, actually. I might see if there's any more zombies that stop by. I really would like to dig that one up, actually. But I'm just going to save him for now. I'm going to convert that lane as well. That guy should kick him back because he's on my side. Okay, he just ran away. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Back there, I can add those things. Charge guard that one. That's the only lane right there is I'd like to not have charge guard, but... Let's convert that guy so he's on my side. Otherwise, he seems to be really obnoxious. Let's get another one back there to help clear out these guys. Hey guys, welcome everyone. Sorry I'm, I'm having trouble reading the chat right now. There's a lot going on. I'm looking for other dinosaurs. I'm going to use that one to convert that dinosaur as well. And I think we're actually looking pretty strong this time. The early game is the hardest part of this setup. I think once the earlier games got it, we're pretty good. And actually, now that we got the early game set up, we're actually looking strong. This Gargantua can't even push forward here. Did a Raptor just beat back that Gargantua? Yes, it did. These p just don't do a whole lot, man. Yeah, like I said, the early game is the hardest part about this one. That doesn't do more damage, really, does it? It just keeps pushing more knockbacks. No point in risking anything getting crushed by that guy. We've got two ones left. I don't think I actually lost really any plants that time, did I? It just was the ones you... It's like, it trolls you. It's like... Do you really want to take these because it counts as losing a plant? But yes, you really want to take them. Because otherwise, the dinosaurs do way more damage than you can. No, I wasn't Usterman. I, like, they just do normal p sure damage with the knockback, though. They, they're they pretty strong, but... You have it the under... Uh, maybe a little bit more damage, but you have to do the... Early game strategy well. Maybe you don't need the... Cat, the celery stalkers. You might not need them instead, actually, the plant. But yeah, you definitely need that other one. That other, need the other plant food to control the dinosaurs. <laughs>